Hello, Asus, Corsair and Razer all have their own ARGB lighting standards. This video is all about how you get them to work together. Right, so let's get it sorted. So what we have here are the following components. We have a Lian Li 011D Razer Edition case. That's got three LED strips in which have a USB 2 header which plugs straight into the motherboard and then gets controlled by Razer Synapse. We have four sticks of Vengeance RGB Pro RAM. That's got the pretty LEDs on it, obviously, and that is controlled by the Corsair IQ software. Everything else is controlled by Asus Aura. So, one, two, three. Lian Li BR Digital fans are plugged into that header there, five volt header there. This is a Castle 360EX all in one. That actually, in its, you know, to its credit, supports virtually every proprietary RGB standard from all the motherboard manufacturers. So you basically plug it in and it works. That's daisy chained up to um, the graphics card which is a Palette Gamerock RTX 3070, which uses its own RGB standard, which is controlled by a program called Thundermaster, which obviously you don't need to download if you haven't got one. There's a cable there that plugs in, doesn't matter which around it goes, just stick it in, and it runs around there, drops down there, and then it plugs into the other five volt header on this motherboard, which is a, a Dark Hero at the bottom there and then that's got a little splitter that comes off and then at the other end of the fan um, the other end of the pump is plugged into that so you've got three different rgb standards essentially uh, there's four in that there's a, a sand blaster ae5 twinkling away down there but we just leave that that doesn't play well with anybody so we just leave that there twinkling uh, so what is important here is not the software that you download because obviously you've got to download the control software the important thing to get this working is the order you install it that's basically um, it now we'll, we'll look at that and we'll also look at a few of the little things to expect so that you don't think it's broken and you don't try and fix it because there are it that it does require some polishing um, not by me because i'm not clever enough but it does require a bit of polishing but obviously as you can see it works so let's have a look now I've got um, six folders that I put here, um, IQ, IQ, Aura Sync, Armory Crate, Palette Thundermaster, Razor Synapse and Synapse Chroma Control. Obviously, as I've just mentioned, you don't need Thundermaster if you haven't got one of these cards. But if you do have IQ, Aura and um, Razor Chroma peripherals, this is a way to get them all working. You install IQ first. Then you install IQ Aura Sync plugin. Then you install Asus Armory Crate. Now at that point, you should notice that the RAM can be controlled via Aura. Then you install um, Pilot Thundermaster or not. Then Razor Synapse. Then Synapse Chroma Control. So. Uh, the easiest way to do that is to go to the various websites and then as you download stuff, shove it in folders to organise it. So IQ software you get from here. Just Google IQ, download it. Then you need to go to the Corsair downloads and you need to get the um, memory plug in there. The easiest way to do that is to go to the downloads, type in Aura in the search box and it's the only hit. Download that, put that in a folder. Then you need Armoury Crate. Just Google Armoury Crate either go to your um, motherboard manual, uh, motherboard support page and download it from there or just download it. It's a universal bit of software that works on a lot of the motherboards. So you can just download it and install that. We need to choose the operating system and then download it. It's, it's quite small, but um, yeah, download it. Then you want to get Razer Synapse 3 from Razer, download and install that. Now the clever bit. If you search for um, Synapse Chroma Control, then the top hit for me is a Reddit post from 2019. Click on that and it will take you to here. Have a read through it. Um, this guy is um, a bit of a genius, to be fair, uh, and accurate. So uh, once you've had a little read through that, click download here and it will take you to here. 
uh, where Andrew Babbitt 97, who should actually get credit for this and um, a whole bucket full of money. Yeah, uh, it's, it says it's a beta, that's fine. If you click on assets at the bottom, you get a Chroma Control Asus package, download that and install that. So you go into Synapse and then you can control it there and then it just works. Now the trick is knowing what to expect when it when it does things <laughs> that you don't expect because obviously this is synchronized here now so what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut it down and I'm going to restart it and you can see that it does work but it's not because you're obviously doing it in your spare time it, it isn't 100% polished but it is nonetheless brilliant right so I'm going to power it up and start a stopwatch at the same time I do want to mention that I have disabled fast start in the um, the power options so um, uh, I did find that 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 helped quite a lot so disable fast start if um, things don't happen quite as they're about to happen so I'm going to start a stopwatch while I turn the machine on and what we'll do is we'll see what happens when so that's that everything's obviously a bit rainbowy at the moment I'll let you know when the desktop appears because it's off camera at the moment it's around about 17 seconds normally. Um, so let's see. Um, and that's it there. Yeah, so yeah, 17 seconds, 18 seconds. So let's see uh, what the light's doing at the moment. Well, they're all a bit rainbowy. Uh, let's just wait. That, um, the fans, pump, graphics card, and motherboard LEDs are now in sync. So that's Aura kicking in case LEDs and RAM aren't synchronized yet so about now you're probably thinking oh, it hasn't worked uh, but just wait a little bit and we'll see what happens And there you go. That was about one minute, 20 seconds. <laughs> Which is actually, it seems like quite a long time to wait, but if you're expecting it, it's okay, isn't it? So um, obviously the, the software needs polishing, not by me, because I'm not clever enough, but um, it, it, nonetheless, it does work and it is quite a remarkable achievement to get to, to do this. So if you look, the fans, RAM, pump, motherboard LEDs, uh, graphics card LEDs uh, and case LEDs are all synchronized and you control them using the Razer Synapse. Choose whatever you want, what pattern you want and it will roll it out across all the LEDs. So yeah, um, any comments, stick them in the comments. Um, liking and subscribing is um, always appreciated and um, hope it helped you. Thanks for watching.